Hello everybody, this is Robert's Irregular Random Recordings. This is Big Daddy talking, otherwise known as Bob. I appreciate you tuning in. I'm going to play a little bit of Ostriv today. This is in Alpha 1, and this is Patch 8. Um, so there are a few hiccups that can happen now and again. We're going to do a new game. You get to pick which type of landscape you want. Um, I haven't found any real advantage or disadvantage of either one, of any of them. But I'm going to go with this one. And I'm going to pause it for the moment. WASD is your normal keys. And mouse to rotate. You start out with this camp. And you have nine men, nine women, sometimes kids, sometimes not. And they're all in tents. The critical thing in the first year is to get them into homes before the winter. Before you can get them into homes, you've got to build a forestry to cut down some trees. You've got to build a smithy before you run our nails. Um, you have to build the homes. You have to build a fishing dock and a farm eventually so that you don't run out of food. But initially, the objective is to get the forestry going. There also, when you zoom out, you can see, if I can find it, well, usually you can see a faint red line for the edge of your growing property, and I am not seeing that right now. You may have changed that in this current patch. But we will go ahead and get a forestry going. Obviously the forestry should be near some trees. You have minis down here for building houses, water supply, several different buildings, um, trade and transport, government, benches, trees, fences, and education, health, and religion are all works in progress. So we're going to go in here and we're going to build a forestry, which is right here. And you'll see that there's a prompt on the top left that says this is one thing you have to do. R and T, you want to build it near the forest. The forestry you cannot build where trees already exist, so I can't put it in there, as convenient as that would be. So we're going to plop that down, and you'll see that up here, it gives, shows us we're going to build a forestry. Now, again, I'm paused at the moment. We are also going to, fairly quickly, need a thatchery. And I generally put that down here near the water line, so that they can get to the reeds. As you can see, sometimes you can't build. Because of uneven train, you can try rotating, and that will quite often do it. So I'm going to plop that there. We're also going to need a clay pit almost right away. And you can see that there is an opening on the clay pit. You want to pay attention. Sometimes I put it near the thatchery, sometimes I put it near lumber. Um, it's really up to you. This time I'm going to try putting it down here. And we'll go ahead and start the game. And you will see the men. This is an old-fashioned chauvinistic society. There's one of the kids. But the men do the heavy labor. The women do the cooking and the household and stuff like that. See the men getting carts and going over here and picking up the lumber that they brought in. Here is the camp storage that contains some iron, some nails, and some thatch. Here's where the mayor's works, and then these are each one of the residents' tents. Um, up here you've got the speed, the month and year, and a summary of the people. It says water supply is poor. If we click on the well, we'll see that it's slowly f filling up. You'll see this blue move over some eventually. 
and you'll see this number come up. So we should be okay there. And here's a summary of the town. You can also click on it and get a little more detail. And if we zoom in, this will get a little loud when we're up close. You can see them unloading the supplies and the men coming to work. And I'm going to speed this, whoops, speed this up just a little bit. Oh, we'll watch them work normal. Pretty strong men to be lifting posts like that. <laughs> But they don't just pop up the building, they pop up the structure, the support beams. Bringing in more supplies. And dropping them off. If you want, you can click on the person and it'll show where they're going. You can also click on a person, say follow them, and it will follow them. If you're on a heads down, you'll be right on top of them. If you're tilted a little bit, you won't see the person, but you will follow the path that they're going. You can see he's carrying some wood on his cart. You also see that any building you build, they put up flags to show where the building is going to be. Now there are some other buildings we're going to need fairly quickly. And we'll eventually get prompted for some of these. Eventually we're going to run out of nails, so we'll need to build a smithy. And I like to put that oops, here next to the forestry. And I like to leave a little gap between them so people can get into the woods. Now you notice here, I'm actually putting it where trees exist. And that's fine for this. It's only the forestry that has to be built where there are no trees. You'll see the yellow flags are down there. We are also going to want a fishing dock fairly quickly. That's the thatchery. And we've got uneven terrain. The fishing dock has to be built along the edge of the water, obviously. It won't do much good otherwise. So we'll put it there. And along with the fishing dock, we're going to need a boatyard to build the boats. They don't fish off of the dock, they fish off of boats. Now, I don't want anybody working on these yet. I'm going to pause these. You can see up at the top right it says paused. Because um, I want to make sure they get the uh, forestry built first. If they start bringing lumber over here, they might run out of lumber and never finish the forestry. So we've got the boatyard, fishing dock. Some of these other ones we won't need for a while. Thatcher we've got, smithy, carpentry we'll eventually need, but not just yet. Um, farm we're going to need fairly soon, but again, not just yet. Um, all of these will be a little bit further down the road. I do like to put up a cart. Area over here. I don't want to block the th thatcher gate. Let's see, I think I'll put it here. I'd rather put it here, but I don't want to block that thatcher. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and put it here. Some things build pretty quick. We also are going to want to plot out the houses. I'm going to try something here that probably will not be very wise. For the first year, you really want to build the houses near your supplies. 
so they don't have to walk as far to carry supplies. I have done things similar to what I'm doing now before, and I don't get all the houses built by the end of the year. But I'm going to try it again. I'm going to hold on shift so I can put multiple. And I'm just going to put them along the shore. Come on. Okay. And you can see they will snap to each other. What is that? One, two, three, four. I'll put five there. Oops. One, two, three, four. I did not click. I'm not going to be able to find a spot over here. It's not going to like this. Okay, we'll put it over here then. I want to leave a gap here so people can get through. We'll put one, two, three, Okay, we're going to have to back this up a little bit. Three. That's going to run into that tent. There we go. Four. I won't be able to place that one just yet, so we'll hold off. But again, I don't want them actually working on these yet. I really want them focusing on the forestry. So I'm going to pause all of these. forestry you see the blue bar here the forestry is almost done if we click on it we can see this is going to use wood nails labor and it's up to this point in the construction these people are working on it this is what's sitting on the grounds that's already been moved over ready for the workers Uh, they're almost done, so I'm going to unpause the thatchery. And I'm going to unpause a couple of the houses. All right. Now, we want to make sure we get some workers hired. And we're going to hire as many as we can initially. So that they can go out and start harvesting trees. And I'm going to pump up the speed a little bit, just to get things moving. It always takes a minimum of two people to do anything at the forestry, because it takes two people to chop down and carry the trees. Now, where are our workers? Yeah, we don't want them working on that. We, we need to get them in the lumber yard. Okay, now we've got workers in the lumber yard. And you can see them go over here and pick up the, the trees. Bring them to the forestry. And they'll eventually carry the trees inside and cut them and then carry them out to the homes and whatnot. This guy is heading to home. You can look down here. These two are working. This one's taking a rest. And they are apparently working inside right now because I don't see them outside. They will more than likely clear out these trees first, since we've already got a building plotted there. Let's speed it up a little bit. There they go. 
Whoa, come back here. And <laughs> he's actually chopping the tree. And then they cut it in half. And they carry it back to the lumber yard. Now the lumber yard not only makes lumber, they also make firewood. And they also make bark for some of the later processing. This is the, in theory, the maximum we can have of anything. How much we'll store a little bit of bark there. This is how much we actually, whoops. This is how much we have sitting here. We have 30 wood, 28 firewood. And you'll sometimes see a reserved. The reserved is how much is already allocated to some other building. And you can see the thatchery is about halfway done. And we should have something happening. Yeah, you can see that they're getting supplies over here to this home. And they're starting to build the house. There's some clay that they've got from the pit. Whoa. And some of the lumber and some nails. Just putting it on the floorboards. And apparently they're both going to take a rest. In the first year, you have to do a lot of micromanagement, a lot of hiring and firing, controlling where your workers are. See, this isn't done yet. I'm going to go ahead and move one of these carts over here, just so it's more convenient. See, they're already almost up to the maximum um, wood. Firewood, they can do quite a bit more. And they don't really have any logs stockpiled. You can see they're starting to wear down paths in the grass from where they're walking. There's somebody taking more lumber to the house. Thatchery just completed. Right here. Now, if we look here... We've got 12 thatch, which is pretty much what we need for all the houses. But I do like to go ahead and get one worker working in the thatchery fairly soon. And I'm going to go ahead and let somebody build the carpentry too, so we don't run out of nails. And I'm going to move our cart parking over here. Well, we've got that one there. I probably want it faced this way, huh? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and move these carts over here. Looks like he's already transferring it. And now this is empty, so we can demolish that. Because eventually we're going to want to get rid of just about everything here. Uh, 
Let's see. I really don't want them working on the fishing yet. Let's see, we've got one worker. He is going out and grabbing some reeds. Bringing them back to the thatchery. And bundling them and drying them. Don't think we can actually see him. No, he gets in the house. In the building, rather. You can see him coming to get some clay. And again, I probably should have put the clay pit closer up here and also gotten the houses closer. Because I probably will run out of time in this game. Alright, I am going to tell him to start working on all the houses. And they will work more or less in this priority that they are up here. So now there's, normally they won't start working on this one until these other ones are done. You can see they're already working on the smithy. I am going to... I don't like this tree this close. If I can grab it. Ah, oh, come on. I can't get a hold of that tree. far. Helps if my fingers are on the right keyboard. Oh, I also had the mouse at the bottom of the screen, which was fighting the direction. There we go. I want this tree removed just to get out of the way. You can see they're starting to stockpile the logs, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some workers. Because they've already got more wood than they can handle, more firewood than they can handle, plenty of bark. And they're almost up to maximum on logs. So I don't need, in fact, I could hire, I could fire all of them for that matter. For the moment. Any homes built? Not yet. And each family comes with some food, the firewood and drinking water they have gathered from the area. This shows where they're working. And some information about them. Some of these other ones also have information tips. Now, it looks like we still have plenty of nails, so I'm not going to hire anybody for the smithy just yet. But I do want to make sure the building is built so we don't run out. Because if you run out of nails and you don't have the smithy built, you don't have any nails to build the smithy. It's kind of a catch-22. You would think you'd want the fishing stuff going right away to get them food, but they really need to focus on these houses first. Another thing that we're going to need eventually, we can go ahead and plot that out, is a farm. And this really isn't a living quarters. This is more of a storage working area. And we got the houses here. We're going to go ahead and put the farm here, but I'm going to pause it. 
we're going to put the cow shed. I like to put it right behind the barn. But again, we're going to pause it. Uh, chicken coop. Something. Oh, the smithy just finished. Put the chicken coop back here. But again, I want to pause it. We're also going to want a well back here on the farm. And we are going to want some hay barracks. Generally, two is sufficient, but I should do three. And to go with those, we want some hay dryers. And that's, they pick the grass, put them on the dryers, and once it's dry, they move them back to the uh, hay storage. You can see here's a lady out here. She's actually picking the grass, putting it on the dryer, picking the grass, putting it on the dryer, and eventually it will move into this hay storage. And this is kind of early in the game to be doing this, but the ladies do this, and the, right now the ladies really don't have a whole lot to do. You can see that they started on a couple of other houses. This one is getting close to being done. And once it's done, one of these tents will disappear and that family will move into that house. You can see they've already worn several paths down. Still got several nails. Still got plenty of wood and lumber. So I'm not going to worry about hiring anybody just yet. We will also want a carpentry shop. And usually I put him here next to the smithy, but I think I'm going to put him over here this time. But again, I do not want that built just yet. I don't really want them going out here to build this well either. See, they're using the, whoa, sorry. Using the clay to put up the walls and the fireplace. Bringing more clay. Workers are the one that actually do the physical construction. Laborers are the ones that bring stuff to and from. So these guys are workers. The ones that are bringing the carts up are laborers. See right now, laborers are getting resources to site. If we want, we could click on him, show his path. You can see he's bringing some clay. And now we've got a worker that's going to be coming back. Puts up the chimney. This is one thing I wish they'd do a little differently about this game. They seem to not get the laborers to get all the supplies there at the, at the get-go. I feel that once they have laborers working, they should get eh, all the supplies there so that once the workers start working, they don't have to wait. We're already up to June. We don't even have one house built yet. 
but we have some other ones that are in progress. Putting up the rafters. And I'm going to put up the thatch. And voila! We now have a house for somebody to move in. Here comes a little kid. I bet you that's the family that's moving in. Yep. And there comes the wife. Again, I have this running a little bit fast. You can see that the Kalikovitsky family lives there. The father is working at the camp center. The mother is unemployed. And the daughter is age five. And there is their wealth. And you'll see a variety of different wealths with the different families. I'm going to speed it back up a little bit. They're getting the foundations done on those homes. Now, if we come up here, still says water supply is poor. That's interesting. I am going to build a dock down here. Do I want it here? No, we're going to put it down here. And that can help some with water supply. I'll probably end up wanting to build another well. Normally, I don't worry about that this early in the game. I found if you cluster homes more than about five wide, then they start complaining that the water or the markets are too far away. If I can find a spot to put the well down here, I can put it way down there. I don't really want it there. It doesn't like the slope, is what it is. I guess we'll put it there. And if you come down and you go landscape, you can see that there's a fairly hefty slope there. Oh. See the ladies out here moving the dried grass into the hay storage? And again, this is way early in the game. I didn't have to build these this early. But it's really not hurting anything either. See, as they add hay, the roof raises. Now they're picking more grass and putting them on the drying racks. It's already June. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can see the ninth tent is gone. And that would be the family that moved in here. I think I'll go ahead and put a well down here also. All right, we'll give them a couple of benches down by the well so that they can rest. And while we're putting benches, I like to put benches in between each house too so the neighbors can come out, sit down, and chit-chat. And they actually will use the benches. We'll put this one up by the well. Whoops. I'll turn it around so it faces the well. So we got got 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're still going to need one more house. I could put it here, but I kind of want to leave this open for a walkway, and I'll put a bridge across there eventually. I kind of want to put the last house here, but I'm not going to be able to do it until those tents are gone. Hopefully those tents will not be the last tents that they that move. I mean, I could put it up here if I wanted to. In fact, I've got four houses in a row. I think I will. I think I will put a house there. And eventually, oh, huh? no, uneven train. Eventually, I'll put one here. So now we'll have sufficient houses for all the people if we get them done in time. Again, you can see that he's worn a path down and around. He's up to 20 thatch, 5 reeds. I may fire him pretty soon. Uh, we're getting a little low on wood, so I'm going to go ahead and hire a couple of guys. Nails are starting to drop down, but it's not critical just yet. Once the carpentry is built, we can build some more carts, but that is not what we want to focus on this first year. I want to get them working on these wells right away. Actually, one of those... No, that's the farm well. So we've got a well there, a well there, We've got this well serving this area. You can see the men are out cutting more trees down. Open vacancies includes all the workers we need to build these houses. Um, this gives you more detail on what you own and who's working where. No market. We don't have any food to sell yet, so it doesn't matter. No housing while we're working on it. Plenty of jobs available. This is how much we have in stock. And you'll see news items show up here. How much money we're bringing in. Uh, that would be from the thatchery probably and how much we are spilling, spending. Oh, that house should finish up pretty soon. I want to move this house up here too. It really shouldn't have mattered if this house was way back here because all of these were paused, but I just want to play it safe. Let's, whoa, slow it down just a little bit. I like the detail on some of their clothes. The men's clothes, the ladies' clothes, there's plenty of variety. And you'll see when the houses get different get built, they're not all identical. Where is okay, he's working there. Well, he's not there anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that down because we got quite a bit stockpiled here. 
And I'm going to shut these down because we've got plenty stockpiled there. And that will allow these folks to focus on building houses. See, they have birds flying overhead. All right, who's working where? I'm not sure who's doing the hammering. Oh, he's hammering down here, building the dock. So the dock is done, so now they can use this to get some water, too. Still says water supply is poor. Come on, everybody. Let's get working. He's bringing some supplies, but I don't see any workers working on houses. There's a lady sitting down enjoying the bench. We really need some workers at these houses. And that's something that sometimes mystifies me about this game is what are all the people doing? Okay, he's bringing supplies for the well. I'm going to speed things up a little bit. I don't know why we don't have any workers here. We had a worker someplace, I heard him. Oh, one of the wells just finished, right there. You can see that it's filling up. And you see this number increased, and you also see this. I have never bothered altering these. Now this well is done. Okay, now they're working on the houses. I don't know which house they're working on. But you can, there we go. Now let's see if we see the, uh, one of the tents disappear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There it goes. That tent just disappeared. And that family is moving into that house. Ha! Huh. Water supply is finally sufficient. No market. Nothing I can do about that yet because we have nothing to sell. Once we have some fish or some farm or we're trading with other cities then we can have a market. Right now they just have three cities that you can trade with. Another house just finished. By the way, the website for this game is ostrovgame.com and it's, right now it's just one guy working on it and he's got some of his goals and some galleries and even though it's just an alpha you can buy it now and you'll get all the updates 
See another tent has disappeared. That house is almost done. Oh, it's September. And they're working on this house. Yeah, I think putting the houses that far away from the forestry might have hurt me again. I don't think I'm going to get all nine of them up by the end of November. Let's see, we still have 24 people living here. 18 adults. If we do not get all the houses done, this number will drop. People will actually move out because they don't want to live in tents in the wintertime. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have to get a couple foresters working again. Thatch, we should be, we've got six thatch there. And 17 thatch there. We're going to be okay. I'm not going to hire anybody for there yet. Nails. Not yet. We really need to focus on these houses. Look at, we got, oh, there's another one finished. That one's almost finished. Whichever. Well, it says it's almost finished. And this one is close. And this one is close. And we got a couple that really haven't even been started yet. It's already late September. Is that house finished? Should see another tent disappear. There it goes. And there's the family moving in. Another house just finished. Should see another tent disappear. I'm tempted to have them start on a couple more houses, but I'm afraid that's going to... Well, these aren't even started yet. Oh, that one just... that one just started. I really don't want to take them away from what they've already started on. I was thinking about putting a couple more houses closer to the forestry, so, so maybe they could get them done quicker. But in October, this is this is going to be tight. I think we're going to lose at least one family. See here, they're telling us to build houses for all families in the camp. And we've got nine families. I tend to stay up high too much. It's really fun watching them when you're down low. You can see the variety in the houses. This one has a little porch. This one has a bigger porch. This one has no porch. And this one has a wooden end, a wooden end, no wood. This one has a little covering over the porch. Come on, guys, build, build. It's already November. We're going to lose a family. Having to build those wells slowed me down a little bit, and having the houses too far away from the forestry. Yay, one more done. That one's going to finish real quick. Move away a little bit so it's a little quieter. 
Now, if this is the only one that's going to need to be built, maybe we'll have enough workers and laborers to focus on it. Actually, this one's moving pretty fast. Yay! So this is the last house. It's almost the end of November. Watch that number. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. No, I don't think we're going to make it. I think we're going to lose a family. See, he's, his family's moving into that house. Whoa. Sorry about that. If you move the mouse to the edge of the screen, it makes you move. Or if you put, push the WASD keys, it makes you move. He. I don't know what he's doing. Oh no, no workers. We laborers have to get some clay here. He's bringing some more lumber. He's going to be bringing some clay. We are not going to make it. I'm tempted to start up some of these others, but I really need them to focus 100% on this house. Don't need any other distractions. I probably should not have built the carpentry also. I should have put that on pause. Where's our clay? There he comes. He's only bringing two. Here comes some workers. Still have 24 people. It's not the end of November yet. We got two workers. <laughs> two workers, but they're both taking a rest. Ah! That's almost the end of November. Come on, guys. Going to work. Taking a rest. If we go look at the campsite, we can see there's only one tent remaining. I don't think that's enough clay. Oh, look at all the workers coming. Yes! But we need some laborers getting more clay here. And getting some thatch here. 
Oh, and all the workers are leaving. End of September. We're going to lose a family. Okay, they're bringing supplies to clay. I think I just saw up. Oh. Family is moving out because it's too cold to live in a tent. Something I didn't notice before. They just changed clothes now that it's getting to be winter time. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to find that family. Where are they? They may already be totally out of the village. There's the red line I was talking about, the border of the town. Well, let me unpause it. We'll see if we can see them leave. You can see the ground starting to turn white as snow shows up. Yeah, they're already long gone. I missed seeing them move out. Oh, well. well. Now that it's no longer critical, we can continue some of these others. Although we're down some laborers. And eventually more people will move in. I guess we better put somebody back there. We're still good there. How's our nails? I guess we better put... We've got a couple guys working there since it's winter time. They're not going to do a whole lot of construction. This house was so close to being done. If I had not built the, uh, oh, I didn't build the carpentry. I was thinking I had. I had to build the smithy. Had to build that. Had to build that. Okay. Well, it's got to just be how long it took them to move materials back and forth. Plus, I had to build a couple extra wells. Which normally this single well is enough to make it the first year. Oh, we're waiting on here's. No, I was going to say thatch, but we've still got some wood and nails to be used here. We've got some nails on site. we got some laborers. He's going to get the wood.
By the way, one word of warning, wherever you put the clay pit, it's going to stay there forever. Most of these buildings you can demolish. Houses you can't yet, but clay pits and houses, once you build them, that's where they're going to be. So plan accordingly when you're laying out your city. We got laborers going there and there. Oops, no. Just there. Yep, he's taking wood to there. I thought he was going to take it to this house. Look at all the people resting over by the well. You can see they do use the benches. She's heading to the bench. She's heading home. Kids are heading over to the neighbors. Uh, we got this, uh, somebody working at the smithy. We, can, we got two of them. You can't see them. Oh, there you are. Pounding away at the iron to make nails. We're still doing okay on wood and firewood. Oh. If I put the house there, it would prioritize the house. Didn't even notice that. That's why they're working on the fish first. At this stage of the game, it's really not critical which which of these get done first. You can't do fishing with a boathouse. You can't do a boathouse without the fishing being built. Yeah, see, now they're working on the house. Family is out of firewood. Never have really figured out why that happens. There's plenty at the forestry. It's probably because the forestry is too far away. And we haven't started up any markets yet. Yay, the house is done. And right now it's vacant. So if we click up here, you see housing is available. So I am going to, let's see, where am I going to want where? I want some windmills near the farm. Tannery and slaughterhouse we don't need until the farm is up. Tailor and weaver we don't need. And shoemaker until the farm is up. Oil workshop is when the farm is up. Warehouse we could use. Granary we don't need until the farm is up. Trading post we're going to need. The warehouse will allow us to get rid of this tent. And its opening is... See, it's opening is there. Uh, I think I'm going to put the warehouse over here. And trading post. Where do I want the trading post? I can't build it there yet. 
I'm going to want more homes along here. Do I want to line it up there? Eh, why not? Yeah. Uh, let's plan the town hall. We will put it over here. What does the training post look like again? It's going to look like that. Okay, so the town hall can go here and it will not interfere with the trading post. And then let's go ahead and plot some more houses. I do not want to block that path. So we're going to do it here. Again, I don't want to block that path, so I really don't want a house there. Put one here. I can put one here. I can put one there. I'm not going to be able to put one there because there's a well there. I don't know. I really can't. Well, yeah, I can. I can squeeze a small yard in there. Generally, the town hall I won't build right away. The warehouse I like to get built just to get rid of this tent. The town hall will get rid of this tent. The fire pit and benches we can demolish. See the nails are going up as the iron goes down. Oh, fishing dock is there. We can order the boats, but nothing will happen until this is built plus the springtime. They cannot build boats during the winter. Why? I don't know. I understand they wouldn't be able to launch the boats, but why can't they build them? We're going to go ahead and uh, put some markets. You can see the snow is melting. We're also going to put some markets here and here and we can go ahead and start stocking some firewood although that's not going to be as important now that the winter is gone You see the carpenters are being worked on, and even though these are higher priority, it started the carpentry. So this is not an absolute priority. But you can move things around, and it, it has an influence on them. But I really want to get this boathouse built. so that we can get those boats built and get some fish now that it's springtime. In fact, I think I will pause everybody. So they get 
focused on the boat. Boatyard. So I do not want them really wasting their labor hours on things that we don't technically need just yet. Well, we are going to need the farm fairly soon, too. This is, again, where are all the workers? <laughs> There's not even anybody working at the smithy right now. I have no idea where all the workers went. Oh! That could be what happened. All but three people have moved out. Probably because we have no food. I did not even see them leave. Okay. Well, I guess that's going to end this episode. Because we'll never get that back up. <laughs> Alrighty. Never saw them leaving. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, remember to subscribe to me. I like being subscribed to. It's nice to be subscribed to. It helps both you and me if you subscribe. Also remember to click like for this video. I like being liked. It's nice to be liked. Won't you like me, please? Okay, Bob, okay, that's enough. Enough begging. <laughs> anyway, come back soon. Spread the word. Thank you very much for stopping by.